Hey, what's up, y'all? It's me, uh, Summer Rain, or the Ennui God, or Clover Nico. And today, I thought it would be interesting if I did, like, a little try-on haul. Uh, so my plan is to try on the stuff that I showed off in my last video, where I did a thrift store haul. Uh, so I'm excited to get right into it. Um, I've never filmed something like this, so the editing might be strange, but I am asking for help with that. Um, so I guess I'll start off by moving the camera. And I'll just show you guys, like, what I'm wearing. Put this here. You can see my It's Always Sunny in the back. Yeah, this is me and my fit right now. I got these big jeans, got some leg warmers, and a sparkly sweater with a belt. And now I'm going to change into the first fit using the clothes I got from the thrift store. All right, this is the first outfit. Uh, so I got the sit cardigan with pockets, no pockets, but it does have buttons. Uh, these pants fit me perfectly, which I'm really excited about. Um, they were from like a South Korean brand or something, and it actually didn't have like a button hole, so I literally just cut it out so I could put the button in. It's got this like flap for your flap needs. Uh, pants, cool pants. I enjoy them. I also put on this uh, new tank top I got. That's kind of a turtleneck. And I'm wearing leg warmers and my favorite uh, Super Ga platform shoes. Uh, Super Ga is like an Italian brand and I have been finding their shoes at thrift stores for super cheap. And I love them because they're just like platform sneakers with cute designs like the black and white stripes. So yeah. So basically the cardigan and the pants were from the thrift store. And I guess the shoes too, just not on the same day. Okay, I'm gonna try on my next outfit and I'll be right. All right guys, I got the bunny earmuffs on that I got from the Dollar Tree and uh, still recycling this top and this cardigan, but I got this really pretty pleated stuck skirt. I think it's like made of the same material that slips are normally made out of and you can't really see, but I got these black sweater tights on and my new shoes. Don't know if you can see them, but they're very cute. Um, yeah, this is another cool fit. Um, nice. Yeah, I quite like these shoes. Um, okay, so I have one more outfit for you, and then I might chat for a little bit about stuff. Um, so I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm in my final outfit. And here I just wanted to show off this really pretty skirt that I got. And I got these tights to match it. Um, it's like a denim material and it has pockets. Um, how far away can I step here? So I put the leg warmers on over the tights and I still got the shoes looking cool. Uh, I really like these shoes. Like, I feel so swag in them. Uh, yeah. It's also got this, like, cute ring zipper. I don't know if you can see it because of the belt. But thank you for watching this far into my super epic, super exclusive try-on haul. Um, yeah, I don't know, like what else I want to talk about, but I think I'm going to think on it for a minute and then maybe come back and add something. Uh, okay. All right. So I guess last, one of the last things I want to say is, uh, a lot of times it can feel like the whole world is fighting each other. Like everyone's only out for themselves. And that's something that I struggle with a lot just believing in the goodness of the world when there is so much like terrible shit going on but I kind of want to say that there is 
an opportunity to grow into something beautiful and happy and freeing. Um, just because there are bad people in the world doesn't mean that there are no good people. In fact, quite the opposite. And I think that um, it's really good to remember that. It's also good to remember that our world isn't necessarily divided into good and bad. There's a lot of morally gray areas that um, cause a lot of conflicts. Um, if you're someone like me who struggles with like mental health, then it can feel like every bad thing that happens is just punishment for something. And it can be really easy to fall into that victim mindset of, well, the world's just punishing me. I can't do a thing about it. But I'm here to tell you that that's not true. You have to take control of your life. Um, you know, creating something with your hands. Maybe you like to crochet. Maybe you like to make art. Maybe you're a welder or a, wo a woodworker. But maybe you're a writer. Maybe you want to make YouTube videos. Maybe you want to be a SoundCloud rapper. I don't know what it is. I'm a simple girl, but um, don't lose focus of what's really important. Like, don't get mixed up in what happened to you or the bad things in your life that you just want to change. Focus on what you can create and add to the world. Um, that's my number one summer tip for today. Uh, I did a Twitter space interview uh, the other night, and it was really nice to hear from the other fish again. Uh, I felt like I, I'm the kind of person who never forgets someone that I meet. So to hear their voices again and to talk to them like normal, it was really healing for me, I think. And uh, it's really special. You know, I'm grateful that I have an audience that I can talk to about whatever I want. That's really, really special. So. I guess I just want to say thank you for being here for me, and it does mean a lot to me even if I can't like always reply to your schizophrenic DMs about how you're six foot four and a bodybuilder or whatever. <laughs> I should totally do a video where I go through all my DMs, like all the ones that are like, I can fix you, I, I have a good job. Um, no offense, but you're never gonna have me, <laughs> especially if you're trying to trying to slide in DMs. Uh, it's not really what most girls are looking for. Um, I guess I don't know what else to talk about, uh, but I hope you guys are safe. I hope you're eating food that is good. Uh, I hope you're drinking water. You better be. And uh, stay tuned because I have a lot of exciting stuff planned and I'm just really happy and really thankful that I'm able to share it with people. Okay, Summer Gang, Clover, Clover Nico Gang, um, YouTube at On We God. It's a French word, look it up. <laughs> Takes a hit from the vape like a pretentious hipster. Oh, you wouldn't get it, it's On We. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel in really good spirits because I've been taking better care of myself and uh, you know, it's a constant battle that I'm gonna have to keep working on, but every day is a little bit better. And I hope that gives you hope if you're someone like me who struggles. So, uh, trying to see if there's anything cool I can show you before I go. Um, if you like uh, Yuri manga, check out Milk Morinaga. This is like an anthology that she's done, but she makes a lot of really cute, short, like, girls love manga uh, comics. Where I, yeah. And I just like the art, and I think that Yuri is really cute and wholesome. Okay, I guess that's all I had to say. Get the fuck out of here. Look, look at my stim toy, look at the ball. It's very soothing. It's not overstimulating at all. What, you don't, you don't like bright lights flashing directly in your face? Are you insane? <laughs> Just kidding. It is nice. Okay. Well, uh, catch you on the flip. Bye.